two. Hey everybody, Sam Kavaris in the Nimnik Chevrolet Sports Update. So, the Jaguars are moderately aggressive in free agency, just the way that Dave Caldwell said that they would be. And the guys that they that they signed, Zane Beatles, uh, Toby Gerhardt, they're looking at Dakota Watson, a couple of other guys as well, they all fit that mold. That guy's been around three, four years, under 30 years old, wants to be part of an ascending team, maybe wants to raise his family in a place like this, no state income tax. I mean, while the Jaguars are looking for a certain kind of player, certain kind of players are looking for a place like the culture that Gus Bradley is developing. So these are the kind of things that Dave Caldwell said that you could expect, not any big splashes, but guys who are very solid and can play some. And that's what you're looking for as you're building a team. You don't need to add pieces of superstars at this point. So you take that and delete Blaine Gabbert from the roster, and hey, the Jaguars got something for him a sixth-round pick. I mean, Gabbert may have been really done a disservice by Jack Del Rio when he threw him in the lineup, but nonetheless, he never really was able to take the measurables that he had when he was the 10th pick in the draft and transfer them onto the field as a, an elite quarterback that a first-round pick should become. So Gabbert goes to the 49ers. He'll compete with Colin Kaepernick there. And, you know, if he gets some playing time, the Jaguars will get another pick next year. Good move all around. Maybe he'll restart his career, or maybe he's just not the player that anybody thinks that uh, he might have been coming out of college. Nonetheless, good start for a moderately, moderately aggressive free agency period. The Jaguars will continue, according to Dave Caldwell, to add players. Maybe not a bunch of above-the-radar guys, but just some guys that they think can come in and play and fit the mold of what they're doing. Uh, if you're a Jaguar fan, you gotta like you got to like it right now at this point. Hey, congratulations to the Florida Gators. They take uh, almost all of the awards in the Southeastern Conference. Scotty Wilbekin as the Player of the Year. Patrick Young as the Defensive Player of the Year. Uh, Dorian Finney-Smith as the Sixth Man. Billy Donovan as the Coach of the Year. Uh, the Gators go 18-0 in the conference, first time that's ever happened. And they go 29-2 overall in the regular season. Remember, they lost on the last second shot to UConn, which was fluky. And they got beaten in Wisconsin with a very depleted kind of team. So uh, they'll play in the Southeastern Conference championship, uh, whatever you call it, quarterfinals, Friday coming up down in, uh, down, up in Atlanta. I'm Sam Kavaris, and that's the Nimnik Chevrolet Video Sports Update.